Throughout history, in times of crises, people around the world respond spontaneously with collective action based on values of solidarity and cooperation. In such moments, the best in human beings comes to the fore, mutual aid, care for others, for family, friends, neighbors, and the international community. The unfolding COVID-19 crisis has affected the world of work in unprecedented ways. Cooperatives and social and solidarity economy institutions are responding decisively in the face of this pandemic and its aftermath. Financial cooperatives and credit unions are providing liquidity support to affected micro, small and medium enterprises. Solidarity funds and crowdfunding initiatives to support local businesses and vulnerable people are being set up. Cooperatives uh, here in Brazil, they have been the frontliners of fighting COVID-19. We have a national movement of way speakers and they launched a solidarity campaign. They have been able to raise funds to issue cash grants for more than 15,000 members across Brazil. Producer and consumer cooperatives are innovating quickly to keep supplies of essential foods and goods moving. Many are transforming their products and services to meet urgent local needs for protective equipment and social care. With the mandatory lockdowns, informal economy workers were among the first to lose their livelihoods. Cooperatives and other SSE institutions whose members are informal economy workers have advocated on their behalf and provided essential assistance. Our artisan cooperatives have at this time sold more than 500,000 masks. These are women who do exquisite embroidery normally, but they use their sewing skills uh, both to have livelihood for themselves and of course to provide this life-saving service of masks. Cooperatives also use their infrastructure and networks acting as catalysts for cooperation in communities, connecting people in need of support with local governments and volunteers. Since co-ops have always served members and communities, we could quickly identify their needs and support them. In Italy, so business workers are not so well recognized by the state. And so we wrote a petition and in a few days we reached more than 47,000 signatures. And after three months, we obtained from the government an indemnity for two business workers. This pandemic crisis is sharpening social divisions and deepening inequalities in many places. At this historic moment, it is crucial that we deepen our commitment to social justice, democracy, and solidarity across our societies. This commitment inherently is the very foundation of cooperatives and wider SSE institutions, from their day-to-day -day operations to their economic model, because they not only spread the impact and benefits of cooperation among their members, workers, and users, they are also effective partners in building more just and resilient communities and economies around the world. It is essential that cooperatives, along with other SSE institutions, are involved in the development of social and economic policies, not just during the response and recovery around the COVID-19 crisis, but for the longer term in rebuilding a more sustainable future. A better world is possible, but we need governments, social partners, cooperatives, and the wider social and solidarity economy to work together. This way, we have an opportunity to build back better.